everyone. Welcome to my very first ever favorites video. So today I'm just going to kind of talk to you about the products that I call my hits, miss, and dismiss. Some products that I tried this month and over the summer that I kind of liked. Um, I'll talk about those and then the ones that I tried that were kind of a disappointment and kind of a waste of money. So I want to kind of give you my opinion on those products as well. Um, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I've been overwhelmed by the support I've been getting. Um, my best friend at uh, The Socialite Life, I'm sure you guys have all checked out her channel. If you haven't, I'll put her link below. Um, she's been doing this YouTube for a while and she's so great at it and she's really been trying to encourage me to build my channel and continue to do this. So I know you've seen me in her videos before and I'm really quiet and usually one in the background that's hiding from the camera. So this is all brand new to me, but it's been really exciting and I hope you continue to enjoy my videos and um, we have a good time together. So let me go ahead and get started with some of the products that I wanted to showcase to you today. For a minute, I'm kind of finding some really good products there. So I want to talk to you about the products that I've liked so far. Um, this is not definitely a drugstore. It's a Smashbox Photo Finish. I have used a lot of different primers because I understand the importance of a primer to kind of help you get your all over and help your colors pop. Um, this is probably my favorite. It's not oily. It's not thick. It has a very good consistency to it. You know, you just need a little bit, dab it all over where you're going to put your colors and put your, your foundation on. And it, it's oil free because my skin sometimes with products can get really oily. But I do, I love, love, love this product. I picked this up at Sephora. It's a great product. Now, um, the Urban Decay. I know um, in my last Get Ready, get ready With Me uh, from Fugly to Fabulous video, um, I said I wasn't quite sure about this product. Well, I realized that I was not using enough. Um, so this product, you definitely have to use a little bit more. Um, I was typically putting on just a little drop on my finger and using that for both eyes. Well, no, no, no. You need one for one eye, and then you gotta refill the other eye to really make that color pop. And I know you can probably tell this color is a lot more vibrant than my other uh, videos because I really took the time to add the more of the primer to help that color pop. Another product that I recently picked up and I talked about in my Walgreens haul is the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel London. I was not sure. When I did the haul video, I tried this, I put it on, I touched my eyes, I wiped it off. I'm not a fan of that because I do not want it to be raining or leaking or you know, my eyes tear up or anything and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but it has really grown on me. And I typically use the Dior um, uh, mascara and this for the price I'll buy this from now on because this is a great product and it was like a third of the price and it works really good and it, it lasts all day. The other product I really liked that I picked up was Maybelline the Line Express Eyeliner just in black it goes on real smooth it just slides right on gives you a good even color I put it on today I kind of did a mini cat eye I am going to be taking my kids to Taekwondo. I know they're going to be like, why are you have on full face? But it works really good and I like it. So this is one of the products that I'm very excited about. And I, it has definitely been worth the money. It's one of my favorites this month. And let's go to eye color. Typically, I use, like I said, I am not a, a drugstore makeup wearer. So I usually spend quite a bit of money on my skincare and my makeup. But I'm really trying to branch out and I found some really good buys. I picked this Perfect 18 Colors palette out. And I will tell you, it's very powdery. So when I was applying the colors today, because I have on the blue in this palette, um, I noticed that a lot of the makeup was bleeding down to my skin. So definitely put like a towel or a brush or something to catch that color so you don't have the color smeared all over your face. But I do like this. The colors show up really good. Today I use, like I said, the primer and then I use the white as my base. And it, it shows the colors really well. I have a problem with that being dark skin. I have a lot of problems in trying to find um, colors that are going to show up and really pop on my face. And I don't know if it's because of the combination of the primer or if this product is very pigmented. It looks really good and I do like it. it is, but it is very heavy in the towel, so I will tell you it's very powdery, so you're going to see some drop off. So you just have to be prepared for that and just make sure you cover the rest of your face or if you want to do your eyes first. I don't know, do what you want to do, but that might help so you don't have to worry about washing your face off and adding your concealer and your foundation back on afterwards. Another product that I absolutely love, and if you're not really good at doing smoky eye or if you want to try something new, is this Beauty Bug by e.l.f. And it's a is it has 12 eyeshadows, and it has a guide to teach you how to do this. I know I've shown this in a couple of my videos. I use this a lot. I mean, this was something I got on clearance. You see the red sticker? I got this on clearance, I think, for $5 at a Target. It was great. It was cheap. And the colors look really good, and I really like how smooth everything is. I don't use their brushes typically. I have a good brush set 
and I'd recommend if you're going to use any of these products to get a pretty good brush set because that will really help you. I mean, it's not so much what you know what product you use, but it's about the technique. So I have these brushes that I have I purchased from Arbonne years ago, and I use these to line my eyes for my eyeshadow, and you'll see that it really makes a big difference on the appeal of the eyes. Um, and then I have. I have a couple of don't likes, but we'll, get, we'll finish up the lights real quick. Uh, the Smashbox Studio Fix. I am not really a big liquid foundation. Typically, I wear the MAC Studio, Studio MAC Fix. Sorry. Studio Skin Studio Fix. I had it wrong. Sorry about that. The NW45. But this liquid goes on really smooth, and it kind of gives me that powder airbrush finish, and I really like the way it feels. It doesn't feel heavy. You know, I'm you know I'm a little bit older. So back when I was growing up, a lot of people wore foundation. They had those lines. And I, I do like that this color is matched pretty good to my skin. I have a really hard time finding foundations that blend exactly. But this works really good. And it gives me that all-over coverage without feeling like a heavy base or anything like that. And then the last one, at least, this is my all-time favorite. It is the Mint Latte Eyeshadow Palette. It is not a drugstore buy. I got this from Arbonne last year's one of their holiday collections. Love it. As you can see, I have used almost all of that. The colors go really good. They all have a hint of glitter in them, and they give you a little bit of shine. So when I'm doing an everyday look, I'll use a little bit of this light color, brown, pop, pop, done. Good work. And that's if I put on makeup. Like I said, I'm typically a lip gloss kind of girl, but if I have a closing or a new client, I may try to jazz it up a little bit. Just all depends on how my mood is that morning or how my kids are behaving that day. So, um, On my lips today, I have one of the Diamond Sparkle Lip Gloss. It is the Walnut Sparkle. Um, I tried in the last Walgreens haul, you'll see I bought that Revlon uh, Color Bite. And I thought I would like it, but I'm really, I guess I'm not into reds as much as I thought. Maybe because it's time of the year, we're kind of feeling more summery. But I love this. This is what I have on, you can kind of see. And I love that the brush is a little bit bent to help it apply a little bit easier. But it's very nice. It has a shine. It's not sticky. It will come off on your drinks, but not as bad as that Revlon that um, I tried. And it, it doesn't leave the rings as well much. Okay, so let's go with the Don't Lies, which I don't have that many products because I usually like a lot of things. Um, but there are some things that even for the money, I would buy again. Okay, and you can tell me I'm wrong. People might say, oh, you're, you don't know what you're talking about, but this Revlon photo ready, not a fan. I felt like it was oily, it was liquidy. I don't know if it sat on the shelf too long before I picked it up. I don't know what the deal is, but it did not look good. It streaked going on my face. It left the stains. I was, I just didn't like the way it looked at all. And then my only last dislike, I said it's all on the positive note. This is my dismiss. The Milani, I got the Black Line Color Play. I know it's probably a great product. It probably is. I may be wrong. I don't know, but I don't like it. I'd rather use a pencil than this. I felt like after just a couple uses, it was hard to kind of get my line to get, see how it's not even going on smooth. It's not going on as smooth as I wanted to. And then it was very liquidy and it feels like, I don't know, it just kind of looks smudged and smeared. So it's not one of my favorite looks, but that's okay. You know, everyone has their own opinions. For me, that just didn't work. So definitely go for that Maybelline that I talked about earlier before I would do the Milani. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my first ever favorites video. I'll put information on the bottom if you guys would like. Feel free to comment, ask any questions. I really am having so much fun doing this. I hope you guys like my videos. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe, tell your friends about it. You can find me on Facebook also. I'm at um, facebook.com backslash drive to be best me. Find me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of my family and friends and just things that we do on an everyday basis. I'm on Instagram at strive to be best me. And also follow me on Twitter at strive to be best me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks so much for checking my channel out. Thanks.